And finally, new rule Republicans can't spend decades chastising liberals for being too permissive about sex and drugs and then be completely silent about Matt Gates. <laughs> I... I don't know if you've been following the whole Matt Gates saga, but he's the Republican congressman from Florida who always looks like he's saying, eat it, nerd. <laughs> and who has been embroiled in a sex and drug scandal the last two months. Here's CNN on a night out with Matt Gates. The partygoers, at times dressed in formal wear from a political event, a political event they just left, mingled and shared drugs like cocaine and ecstasy. Some had sex. Okay, wild hotel suite parties, that's our thing. <laughs> Democrats are the party of free love and fun and forgetting where you parked your car. <laughs> Republicans cannot be the conservative, stick up your ass party and then take our drugs and fuck our women. <laughs> American government works best like a mullet. Republicans do business in the front, Democrats party in the back. <laughs> JFK used to have nude pool parties in the White House. Now the politician who comes closest to carrying on that legacy is Matt Gates. No. <laughs> and he's not the only one. Former House Speaker and a guy who loved his liquor, John Boehner, now sells pot for a living. <laughs> My old job. <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene is reportedly into polyamorous tantric sex. And Ashley Babbitt, the MAGA warrior who died storming the Capitol, turns out to have been in a thruple with her husband and another woman. And don't get me started on this guy. <laughs> Even their spiritual advisors are freaks. Jerry Falwell Jr. apparently likes to relax after a hard day at Bible college by watching the pool boy do the misses. I know Republicans are lazy and they love outsourcing, but come on. <laughs> And here he is on a yacht, proudly posing with a friend <laughs> with their pants unzipped. That's some friend. <laughs> this is a long way from when his father made a national issue that one of the Teletubbies was purple, so duh, gay. <laughs> what happened? Republicans. Republicans always sounded like this. Now, because Politico did an expose on and his lap dance with the naked lady in a strip club, he's not the kind of person you can ask your sister to vote for anymore. <laughs> naked lady, lap dance, sister. That's the Republican Party I know. <laughs> so uptight they could grind diamonds in their ass. <laughs> well, liberals used our asses the way God intended to smuggle drugs. You could always count on Republicans to be the fuddy-duddies, the wet blankets, the bores. They were the moral majority, the book of virtues. Nixon, Nixon started the war on drugs. And this lady never stopped spitting her catchphrase about it. Just say no. 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 <laughs> Her husband had a commission to root out pornography. If it was fun, Republicans were against it. They got apoplectic over Clinton getting a blowjob. They invented abstinence-only education. Mitt Romney has never seen himself naked. <laughs> John Ashcroft. I'm not kidding. Once covered the tits on a statue. <laughs> Rick Santorum wears a sweater vest. 
Newt Gingrich once said, quote, Democrats were the party of total hedonism, total exhibitionism, total bizarreness, total weirdness. Well, on a good night, I suppose. <laughs> And frankly, Newt, knowing that you believe what I did on an average Friday night was morally reprehensible just made it all the more fun. <laughs> we need to restore the natural order of things. I don't want to live in a world where liberals are the uptight ones and conservatives do drugs and get laid. Once upon a time, the right were the ones offended by everything. They were the party of speech codes and blacklists and moral panics and demanding some TV show had to go. Well, now that's us. We're the fun suckers now. We suck the fun out of everything. Halloween, the Oscars, childhood, Twitter, comedy. It's like woke kids on campus decided to be all the worst parts of a Southern Baptist. <laughs> And that's wrong, because it's cultural appropriation. <laughs> if Democrats had always policed morality as hard as they do now, they would be down a lot of heroes. No FDR, JFK, RFK, LBJ, Clinton, Martin Luther King. Democrats are now the party that can't tell the difference between Anthony Weiner and Al Franken. <laughs> or... Katie Hill, up-and-coming Democratic Congresswoman from California, now resigned, who, like Ashley Babbitt, was found to be in a thruple and pictured holding a bong. And that was too much for our new puritanical Democratic Party. Quite the opposite. This should be our logo. <laughs> We're the thruple people! <laughs> The bong people, the tantric sex gurus, not fucking Matt Gates. Us. We did fucking in the mud and bra burning and turn on and tune in and drop out. They're the party who won't bake wedding cakes for gay people. It's time to switch back because, frankly, you're not good at being us and being you sucks. <laughs>